Hello and welcome to our monthly CI updates. And today we will talk about metrics builds. I will explain what are the metrics builds and we will see how to use the needs keyword with metrics builds added in GitLab 16.3 recently and a quick demo. Metrics builds allow users to define multiple build configurations within a single job. As you can see here in the right code example, you have a test job and on the button you see the parallel metrics keyword that gets two arrays with parameters. And as a result, during runtime, the pipeline will look like this. This job will create four different test jobs with different parameters. That means that all of the inputs that I put here will become a CI-CD environment variables that I will be able to use in the CI-CD configuration. So imagine that you get as a requirement to test your application, to get a spreadsheet with the metrics of 20 or 50 different platforms, environment, operating systems, can be even different kinds of other well. And now you need to test all of this uh, long list of metrics in your pipeline. So instead of uh, writing so many different jobs to cover all of these uh, requirements, uh, metrics, you define one job and uh, build the metrics using the metrics uh, keyword. The second thing, the benefit is that it run on parallel. So all of those uh, metrics uh, big jobs will run simultaneously. You will need uh, enough runners available to run or you can run in a specific runner, but configure it that it will allow to uh, run multiple jobs concurrently. Uh, user flexibility, users can define uh, any custom metrics based on the project needs. So with that, let's uh, see a quick demo. So I have here a Git GitLab project uh, with Python application. And let's assume that I want uh, to test my uh, Python syntax on different uh, Python versions. So what I will do, I will use metrics builds, and it's really simple example. So I use here a job with the parallel metrics uh, keyword, and I define all different Python versions that I want to test. And as I mentioned, this will become a CI-CD environment variables in the CI pipeline. And I use it here in the image, I use Python, and the version is the parameter that I defined here. Once the job will run, it will run four instances of this job with different Python image. Let's see it live. So this is my job. You see, if I click on it, I can see the different jobs that it automatically created. And now I can open the console and see uh, the Python version. So the first line, it go and download the uh, Python image. So this actually my environment I want to test uh, my code now in, uh, in image Python 3.8. And if I will go the second one, I would expect that uh, now it downloads uh, image Python 3.9. And for here, um, I test and I see that it works on Python 3.10. So this makes my coverage that uh, if the link, all of those jobs will pass, I know that uh, I'm confident that my programming language, uh, the syntax works well on the required Python versions. And as you see, uh, one job uh, completed, the other still uh, running. And this uh, leads me to talk about the needs. Needs is part of the feature, not new feature called the directed cyclic graph introduced in GitLab uh, many years ago, 12.2. So I know the name is uh, robust, and, uh, but the feature is actually uh, simple. And uh, so normally without the directed acyclic graph, uh, jobs running in stages. In this example, I have three stages, lint, test, and container. And normally uh, jobs run in orders, in orders. So first the lint job will complete. Only all of the lint job will complete test jobs will run and only all of, once all of the test jobs complete, then the container build jobs run. But as you see, not the, the situation here because I have here 
just some jobs haven't completed, but still uh, I have test job completed and also Docker build job completed. So in this situation, as you see, I have pipeline still running. It may take time the pipeline to complete, but I'm lucky I have a Docker build ready, can use it, and maybe other team that uh, is waiting now for this Docker build, they can get it without waiting to the pipeline that can take maybe one hour, or I don't know, it depends on the dependency, on the complexity of the pipeline, but uh, with the DAG, they can uh, define uh, dependencies. In this example, what I define is, I say that this job can start and running as long as this job completed. I don't care from those other jobs. So, and again, similar, similarly, I defined this job can uh, start run once this job completes. I don't care from the other job. This is how I made my some of the deliverable ready early. And uh, let's see how uh, we define this. It's also very simple in the GitLab syntax. So this is the, for example, the test 3.8 job. I just needed to add the needs keyword and define the job, the dependent job, and also which job inside the parallel metrics. In this case, I want to be dependent only on 3.8. So this is in very simple way. Now learned uh, what is metrics bit and uh, what is directly the cyclic graph. And you can read uh, all, all of them uh, in our online documentation here and about parallel metrics and how to use the needs with parallel metrics. Thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.